Okay. I'll go. Yes, miss? Will you please tell me, is this the right road to Twin Falls? That's right. You're a stranger in this part of the country, aren't you? Well, sort of. Now, you keep right on going till you come to a fork in the road. That's about four miles from here. Then turn right. There may be a detour sign between here and there. They've been fixing the road. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. All right, Sam, you can close up. Okay, thank you, sir. Yes, listen. A young girl just left here, alone, about a minute ago. I'll be right over. Don't be frightened. We won't hurt you. Sent for me, S.K.? Oh, uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, this news item about missing girls ought to work out. An interesting story. Kind of a horror picture, you know. Yeah, but, S.K., I'm supposed to get two weeks off. I'm going to get married. Oh, that's right. I forgot all about it. I'm sorry. Skip it. I'll get one of the other boys to tackle it. Well, if you're in no hurry, I could knock it out when I got back. Oh, we'll see. In the meanwhile, uh, give it some thought. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> That's a fine thing to be doing on my honeymoon, thinking of horror stories. Good evening. Nice weather we're having for this time of year. Give me six gallons, please. Six gallons? Yes. Gee, that's two coupons, sides of money. That's OK, put it in. Just you say, don't want to run out of gas. Ain't another gas station this side of Twin Falls. Oh, is that so? Yep. Gee, your windshield's sort of dirty. Shall I check your water and oil? Oh, well, I guess better anyhow. <laughs> Okay, I guess. Hmm. 
much do I owe you? Oh, I'm checking your tire. Never mind that. Here. How, how about your battery? It's okay. Listen, I got some classic car polish. Only 50 cents a can. I use it myself. I'll show you. No. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. Keep the change. Darn fool. You didn't even give me a chance to put the gas in. What do you know? Empty. You guys sure pulled a fast one on me. I'll go. Yes, miss? Can you tell me if I'm on the right road to Twin Falls? Yes. You're a stranger in this part of the country, aren't you? Yes, I haven't been this way in some time. Well, you keep right on going until you come to a fork in the road. It's about four miles from here. Then you turn right. There may be a detour sign between here and there. They've been fixing the road. All right, thanks. Well, Sam. Yes, sir? Go and check the meters, will you? Okay. Doctor? Another young girl just left here, alone. Very suitable. Yes, it'll be right over. Boy, am I glad to see you. What seems to be the trouble? I ran out of gas. I was just trying to make up my mind whether I should hike back five miles and punch a guy in the nose or camp you for the night. <laughs> I don't suppose you'd like to, uh... Show you back five miles? Uh-uh, I'm in a hurry. But I will take you to the nearest gas station this direction. Lady, I'll take you up on that. You picked a bad spot to run out of gas. Oh, I didn't pick it. That sap in the service station back there picked it for me. I paid him for six gallons of gas, and all I got was a barbershop monologue. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that place. I stopped there to ask my way. Oh, you a stranger around here? Practically. I haven't been this way in years. Down here on a vacation? Not exactly. I've been drafted. Hmm? For a wedding. Oh. I'm maid of honor. Whose wedding? My cousin, Betty Benton. She's marrying some sap from Hollywood, a scenario writer or something like that from one of the studios. Hey, you must be Stella Saunders. That's right. How did you know? Oh, Betty's mentioned you several times. You know Betty? Mm-hmm. Do you know the sap she's marrying? Oh, yes. I shave him every morning. You shave? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Meet the sap, Ralph Dawson. I'm really terribly sorry. I, I honestly didn't mean That's it. That's all right. Skip it. Bed. Now, don't tell me you're out of gas, too. No, I have plenty of gas. Fool. She's not alone. Well, the battery's all right. I'll take a look. Anything? No, not yet. I never was much of a mechanic. Yeah. All right, to me. Well, I give up. I can't find the trouble. Well, maybe it's a switch. No. I don't know. I know. 
Kremlin. You know those little fellows that play tricks on aviators? <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't stay here all night. No. Oh, there's a house over there. I'll see if they have a telephone. Now sit tight. All right. Now, bring her to me. You're pretty. <coughs> don't, don't hurt her, Rico. She's a pretty one. How do you do? I wonder the if I doctor can... is not in. Well, it isn't that serious. You see, I just want to come Dr. in. Doctor and... Marlowe receives no visitors. Well, I'm not exactly a visitor. I just want to use the phone. The telephone is out of order. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I wonder if you could tell me where I could find one. I have a good mind to report to you to the Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> Very good. You might go. And uh, tell Nicholas to make the preparations. Yes, Master. Yes, sir. Just what is this? I must apologize for receiving a guest like this. Guest? What is this, a joke or something? Let me out of here. I'm afraid that is quite impossible. I need you. You need me? Yes. What for? Come. I'll show you. Don't be afraid. Just follow me. My dear, I brought a young lady to help you, Miss... Uh... Saunders. Stella Saunders. Yes, my wife. This young lady may be able to help you. Is your wife ill? She's dead. Dead? She has been dead for 22 years. How can she be dead then? She's dead only in the sense that you understand that word. I'm on the threshold of bringing her back to complete life. And you may be able to help. What? What do you want of me? Your will to live. Your mind. Oh, no. No. Don't look at me like that. Come with me. What kind of a gag is this? Stella! Wait. Take that 
gal if I ever catch up with her. What's the matter, Ralph? You don't look very pleased to see me. Oh, it isn't that, honey. It's that cousin of yours. I suppose she told you about the cute trick she played on me. Who, Stella? Yes, Stella. Where is she? I'll tell her a thing or two. Oh, I don't know. She hasn't arrived yet. She hasn't? No. That's funny. What's funny? Say, what's all this about? And where did you meet Stella? On the way here. Run out of gas. Who, Stella? No, me. She picked me up and then faked something wrong with her car. I went to the phone, came back, and she was gone. <laughs> Left me flat. I had to walk two miles to get a gallon of gas to start my car. <laughs> Oh, you think that's funny, do you? Well, it's the first time I ever heard of a man having to walk home from an automobile ride. <laughs> oh, that's rich. Good for Stella. What's good for Stella? Right now, a good paddling would be very good for Stella. Hello, Mama. Hello, Ralph. What happened? I don't know. Ask Giggling Gertie there. I've got to clean up. <laughs> Something must have happened to her. I think we ought to call the police. Oh, I wouldn't do that yet, Mother. She may have had a flat tire. She might have run out of gas. I hope. Just exactly where did you, I mean, where did she leave you? About 10 miles from here on Laurel Road. Are you sure it was Stella? Certainly. She told me who she was and where she was going. And she told me that her cousin was marrying a Hollywood savvy. She said that? She certainly did. Well, I like that. Just for that, I hope she has two flat tires. <laughs> Good girl. I'm going to call the police. The same thing may have happened to her that happened to those other girls. What other girls? Three girls completely disappeared in the last few months without leaving any trace. Wait a minute. Did that happen near here? Yes. Didn't you read about it? Well, sure. My boss wanted me to do a story around it. Gee, looks like I've written myself right into it. Say, what are you talking about? Your mother's right. Come on, Betty. Get your hat. Oh, if she shows up while we're gone, call us at the sheriff's office. It must succeed this time, Nicholas. It must. It will. The failures we've had were due to the subjects. They were not the right ones. But remember, Rambuna is all-powerful. Yes. Yes, I know. Dobby, get in the zombies. Yes, master. Marine, bring in my dear wife. Yes, now. doctor. I got a nice surprise for you. You're all going for a nice walk. Come on. All come out. That's it. The master wants to see you. Follow me. She's waiting for you. We're going to have another pretty ceremony. Hurry up. She's right there now, pretty. Turn around and look at the other one.
Così. Emotion to emotion. Life to death. Life to death. Evelyn, darling. Richard. How did I... You're alive again. How did I get here? I have brought you back to me, my darling. Now we're together again. subject. Somewhere there must be a girl with a perfect affinity. I must find her. I must find her. And when I got back to the car, there was no car, no Stella, no nothing. Maybe she got tired waiting and just drove away. Drove away where? Wherever she was going. But she was going to Betty's house. Well, did you look for her there? Of course, we just came from there. And she's not there? No. no. Huh. Well, where do you suppose she is, then? Well, that's what we want you to find out. You know, this is getting a little monotonous. This is the fourth time in the last couple of months a girl's disappeared around here. Well, what'd you do about it? Nothing, except kept looking for them. Still looking for the other three. Sheriff, this is terrible. Yes, it is. Sheriff's job in this county used to be a cinch. Now it's a pain in the neck. Well, let's write it down. Where'd you see her last? It was about 10 miles out of town on Laurel Road, right by the road close sign. We had just turned off on the detour. What road close sign? 
There ain't any road close sign or detour on Laurel Road. Of course there is. No, there ain't. I just came over that road not two hours ago. But I tell you that there is. Hey, wait a minute. After I got gas from my car, I drove over that road again. Come to think of it, I didn't see any sign there either. Ralph, are you sure you're all right? Well, sure you didn't have a couple of cocktails too many and imagined the whole thing. Certainly not. We turned off from the detour about 200 yards from an old two-story house. It's the only one for miles. You must be me old Johnson house. There's a Dr. Martin or Moreland or something like that living there now. Uh, what did he say? Nothing. I didn't see him. I hardly got my nose in the door. I hear he's a peculiar old duck. Well, okay. I'll drive over there and see what I can find out. You want us to go with you? No. Reckon me and Elmer don't need any help. We've been looking for the other three all by ourselves. Guess we can handle one more. Sheriff, what do you want us to do? Go on home to bed. If I get any news, I'll phone you. Go on, go on. Good night. Okay. Good, Good night, night, Sheriff. Good night. Come on, Elmer. You want me, Sheriff? Yeah, we're going for a little ride. Now, Sheriff, my old lady ain't going like this. That's too bad. Well, every time I tell her I'm going to be home early, then you figure out somewhere for me to go and... Hey, Sheriff, uh, what do you expect to find out at the doctor's house? Never can tell. Might find the girl's automobile in the living room. Oh, now what would he be doing with an automobile in the living room? How should I know what anybody would be doing with an automobile in the living room? What are you doing, Doctor? I'm gradually increasing the intensity of these rays. And how long will it take? It's hard to say. A sudden bright light will disintegrate her. Elmer, I think I'd better go in alone. You take a look around the ground and see what you can find. Well, now, what do I look for, the girl or the car? Both. Oh, oh all right, sir. answer it myself. How do you do? How do you do? Dr. Martin? Marlowe is my name. Oh, Dr. Marlowe. I'm the sheriff. But oh, don't let that frighten you. <laughs> it doesn't. May I see you a moment? Oh, certainly. Please, step in. Nice, cheerful place you've got here. We use very little light in the house. My eyes are that they shouldn't be. Oh, yes, yes, I see. Will you be seated, please? May I offer you a little drink, perhaps? Oh, yes, yeah, thank you, Doctor. I don't mind if I do. Excuse me. I'm sure you will like this. The very old sherry. Nothing like good old sherry. My famous wine. To your head. Thank you. Now, what can I do for you, Sheriff? 
You may be able to give me some information. Oh, I would be delighted if I can. Was there a detour sign lately on the highway? I don't know. Are they repairing the road? No, that's just it. The road's okay. Then why should there be any sign? There shouldn't. This is all very confusing to me, Sheriff. You're telling me. So, I can't figure it out. Maybe it's a prank of some schoolboys? Yeah, I doubt that. Excuse me, Chef. Hello. Did you get everything ready, Doctor? There's another. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll see that you get your check. Yes? I will call you back. I'm so busy with the sheriff. No, 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 it's not serious at all. Just a friendly visit. Goodbye. Um, what were we talking about, sheriff? Oh, yes, uh, the signs on the road. That's just part of it. I'm really looking for some young girls who've disappeared lately in this vicinity. Don't say. Yeah. Has he heard any screams? Seen anything suspicious around you? No. Not that I remember. I'm quite off the road. Yeah, that's right. You take care of her. I'm going to go see how the young ladies are. If there's anything else I can do to help you, please call me. Thank you, Doctor. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, uh, thanks for the sheriff. Oh, you're quite welcome, Sheriff. Hello. I just came down to see how you are. You look awful pretty. So you're the new one here, aren't you? You're the prettiest one we've got. You mustn't come out any further. You shouldn't come out at all. If the master knew you were coming out, he'd beat me. I just came down to talk to you. Gosh, you've got nice, pretty hair. Nobody ever talks to me. The master won't talk to me. He doesn't talk to anybody except when he's angry. Yes. I wish you could look at me. Your eyes look so funny. You don't know me, do you? It's all right. He's gone. What is he want? What is it about the girl? Yes, yes. He was very inquisitive. Did he suspect anything? No, I don't think so. What did he say? He said he liked my sherry very much. <laughs> oh, I hear the master. You better get back in. The master would be very mad if he knew you was out. Oh, shh, don't tell him now, because he'd beat me. Evelyn, darling, you're so near to success. We will try it again. The last subject. Perhaps. Take her inside. I will summon Nicholas. Subject in again. Yes, Master. That's funny. It works backwards. I must have left it open. She's not there. She must be somewhere else. She's not there either. If there's only one here. She must have gone away. Oh, the master will be angry. 
You beat me. You, you mustn't tell him, Greco. I've got to tell him. Oh, I've please don't tell him, Greco. Please don't tell him. You beat me. Please. I'll give you anything I got if you won't tell him. Honest, I will. Please don't tell him, Greco. Please don't tell him. Don't tell him what? She's gone. Gone? Yes, Master. But I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. You. Go and find her, or I'll kill you. Yes, Master. Hey, yes, Master. Hey, Sheriff, look up ahead. Gosh, all fish hooks. Stop the car, Elmer. Stop the car. Oh. Hey, a sleepwalker. A darn pretty one, too. Looks more like she's hypnotized. We better get her in the car and rush her to a hospital. Do you suppose she's the girl that the Bentons was looking for? Might be. We'll stop at the Benton home on the way. <laughs> It's Stella. Come in. What's the idea of a strange outfit? Stella, what happened? Yes, where'd you disappear to? We found her walking on the road. Sort of thought she might be the missing girl. She is. Well, looks to me like she's been walking in her sleep. Let's not stand here. Come on, we'll call a doctor. Nicholas, we must find her. Whatever we do, we must find this girl. girl. Master, yes. I found out where she is. There. Come, I show you. Stella. Stella, honey, it's Betty. What in the world could have happened to her? She looks so strange. Look at her eyes. She's just staring. But she doesn't seem to see us. This doesn't have any effect on her at all. Well, I guess we'll be going. There's nothing more we can do. We're very grateful to you, Sarah. That's all right. Let me know what the doctor says. We'll do that. Come on, Elmer. We're going for another ride. Another one? Yes, maybe we'll run into the other three girls. Well, my old lady ain't going to like it. If you want us, you can call us at the office. Thank you, Sarah. Good evening. Yes? I understand you have a girl here suffering from some strange malady. Why, it's Dr. Marlowe. Oh, good evening, Sheriff. Hello, Doctor. Mrs. Benton, Dr. Marlowe. The doctor lives in the neighborhood. Well, perhaps he could tell us what's the matter with Stella. You sort of specialize in these cases, don't you, Doctor? Well, I have made a study of these ailments. Would you mind if I would examine the girl? I wish you would. Good night, Sheriff. Good night, Mrs. Benton. Good night, Doctor. Good, Good night, night, Sheriff. Good night. Excuse me, please. What do you make of this, Ralph? I don't know. I can't figure it out. She doesn't seem to be suffering any pain. That's something. You know, she looks like a person that's in a trance. Yes, doesn't she? That outfit she's wearing, where in the world did she get it? Search me. Last time I saw her, she had on a sort of a greenish suit. You know? I've seen people act like that in pictures. What do they call them, zombies or something? No, no, honey, there aren't any such people. That's only a scenario writer's nightmare. I know, I wrote one once. Come in, doctor. This is my daughter, Betty, and Mr. Dawson, Dr. Marlowe. How do you How do? do? This is my niece. She doesn't seem to be suffering. No, she isn't. Hmm. Be 
Did you have these spells before? Not to my knowledge. What do you suppose could cause a thing like this? Oh, several things. A sudden shock, mental illness, anemia, etc. Is there anything we can do? Yes, you must be very careful. Otherwise, she might become permanently affected. But we can't just let her lie here. That is just what you should do. Rest and quiet is all she needs. Would you advise sending her to a hospital? No, definitely not. She's in no immediate danger, but she must be left alone. She might become excited. Well, it was very nice of you to come in, Dr. Marlowe. Any other physician would have done it. If you wish me to, I can drop in tomorrow. Oh, please do. Thank you. Goodbye. 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 Did you notice her reaction to the doctor when he came in the room? Yes. As a matter of fact, I did. I wonder if there could be any connection between him and... What is the girl? Yes. Do they suspect anything? Of course not. But we must act quickly and bring her back here before they do. Summon the men. Yes. Nicholas, we have found her. Now we have to get her back. She's responding. Peter, quickly come to la Honia, Gona Hazania, O Rambona, He's almost here. Go get her. Bad girl. You're a very naughty girl. You know you shouldn't have left. I told you you shouldn't go. Master, she's here. Well done, dear Nicholas. Well done. Rambuna never fails. I just can't imagine such a thing. Did you look in the... Yes, I looked everywhere. There wasn't a sign of her. We shouldn't have left her alone. But Dr. Marlowe said she'd be all right. Yes, I know. That's just what I'm thinking about right now. What do you mean? Never mind. Let me try and figure this out. But, Ralph, why are we coming here? No, never mind. I'll tell you later. Ah, good morning. Good morning, good morning good. doctor. How is the patient feeling? Better, I hope. That's why we're here. She's gone. Gone? Are you sure? Suddenly. Completely disappeared. Then 
Is it to notify the sheriff? We've already done that. Come inside, please, and tell me all about it. Please, be seated. Now tell me, just what happened? Well, I, I don't exactly know. I went into her room this morning and she was gone. She just vanished. I should have warned you to watch her while she was in that condition. Well, do you think she could have just wandered off like someone walking in their sleep? Yes, that's possible. I have known cases like that. My own wife was subject to such spells. That is she. She's very beautiful. Yes. And you remind me in many ways of her, my dear. <clears throat> well, uh, is your wife still subject to such spells? She has been dead for 22 years. Oh. Well, my dear, by now the sheriff may have good news for you. The sheriff's office, please. Hello? This is Dr. Marlowe. Is there any report on the Saunders girl? No sign of her yet. Have you checked with the neighboring town? No, the Bentons haven't heard. Miss Benton and her fiancé are here. Please, keep me advised as soon as you hear anything. Oh, certainly, I'm very worried, too. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm afraid the sheriff has no news. Well, this is terrible. Now, take it easy, honey. Now, now, my dear. I'm sure everything will be all right. She may be picked up on the road, as before. I hope so. We'd better get back. Yes, let's do. Thank you. And please let me know the minute you hear anything. Yes, we will. Don't worry, my dear. Goodbye, doctor. Goodbye. Goodbye, doctor. Goodbye. Ralph, what do you make of it? Let's go someplace where we can talk this over. may be the perfect affinity. Nicholas, come immediately. We're going to make an other experiment. You know, this is screwier than anything I've ever written. And I've written some screwy ones, believe me. Why do you suppose Dr. Marlowe told us his wife had been dead so many years? I don't know. She sure looked alive to me. Me too. And did you notice she was wearing the same kind of dress Stella had on? Yeah, and she had the same glassy look in her eye, too. Gave me the creeps. What's the matter, honey? I don't know. I, I feel strange. I don't blame you after all this hocus pocus. You want me to get you something? No, I'll be all right. I think I'll call the sheriff and tell him what we've seen. Are you sure you're all right? I'm all right. I'll just be a minute. Give me the sheriff's office, please. Oh, Mickey, go all on this floor. My dear, go out.
Yes, she looked exactly like the picture. Of course I saw her with my own eyes. So did Betty. And she was wearing the same kind of a dress Estella was wearing when you found her. What? Is that so? All right, I'll be right over. Okay, Sheriff, I'd like to go with you. All right, Betty, now I'll be right over. Come on, Elmer. Oh, gee, Sheriff. Come on. By the first thing I know, I won't have an old lady. You see where the young lady went that I was sitting with? Why, yes, she went out. Out? Oh, thank you. Did you see a blue roach that was parked there? You mean with that good-looking blonde girl in it? Yeah. Yeah, she just drove off down the street there. I thought she was in a daze or something. You thought she was in a daze? Yeah. Listen, pal, I gotta find her. Will you help me out? Sure. Okay. She's almost here. Master, she's here. This one will be successful. Bring the zombies. Yes, Master. Master wants to see you. Listen, get to a phone and tell the sheriff to get to Morrow's house as fast as he can. Dr. Muller, you got that? Yeah. Okay.
Hurry up, please. Right here. He's right there. They're all here, Master. Proceed. Emotion to emotion. It's all about. I don't know. Soul from body to body. Soul from body to body. That's so Guess we'll have to break in. I reckon so, Sheriff. Life to death. I think it's down there. Darling. What's going on here? Stand back. All right, get over there. Richard. Evelyn. My darling. Where are you? Soon. We will be together. Betty, honey. Betty. Together. Anyway. Stella. Stella. Where did I get this outfit? What is this, one of your Hollywood gags? <laughs> no, but it gives me a good idea. Come on, let's get out of well, here. Well, that's the last time I'll ever pick anybody up on the road, gasoline or not. There you are, boss. There's your horror story. The voodoo man, eh? Is it any good? Well, I don't know about that, but don't tell me it couldn't happen because it did. Didn't it, honey? It certainly did. And another thing, I'm starting my vacation right now. See you in two weeks. Come on, honey. Bye. Who do you see playing the part of the voodoo man? Say, why don't you try to get that actor, uh, Bela Lugosi? It's right up his alley. 